We only brought one beer, one orange juice, one coconut water, and uh, 40 ounces of hot water. My plan was I was going to bring probably another 40 ounces of just fresh water. At this point, I think I'm going to go boil up some muddy puddle water. Hey, hey, is everybody there? Uh, this is my first bike packing trip. This is the giant bag that I'm bringing. And I'm going to be bringing my dog. And we'll see how this progresses as I improve and change the trip. Check in later. Okay, update. Everything's been good. I've been bumping a little bit of Sublime, kind of hanging out. Um, yeah, it's been, been pretty good. Alright, hey there y'all. I'm uh, finally in the woods on a little trail uh, and doing my first little experiment on bikepacking. I've got a bag that's just ridiculously big and uh, it doesn't have a waist strap or a uh, hip strap. So I've been using a uh, bungee cord for my my waist and just another little bungee cord to kind of tension the top straps so it's more like a normal backpack I'm used to but anyway uh, I'll break down what I brought and uh, see what I can thin out for next time but as for now got the hammock on the frame got the pad and the speaker inside there not much else gonna have in there so all right I'll check in later Okay, got here uh, to a spot I'm going to camp and just uh, going to set up the hammock and uh, rain fly and show you how it ends up turning out early in the morning. Making a little fire here, it's kind of good for the morale. I'm doing it in a solo stove Titan size, if you're wondering. I like uh, having a little solo stove. That's this uh, little metal insulated stove. It allows me to have a fire uh, and really be sensitive to the ground around me and not have a big footprint. Pretty cool. Hey y'all, been uh, listening to Hank Williams III, Cattle Calling, pretty aggressive uh, punk experimental album, kind of uh, doom metal over uh, actual live auctions, very interesting. I think it's all cows, but maybe there was a car or two auction back, kind of interesting uh, hearing that. Um, I think I've been kind of grumpy and haven't been eating enough and so I haven't uh, been doing as many video clips. Um, anyway, I'm trying this Mountain House beef stew freeze dried. Not the best. I just had a cup of noodle uh, beef as well just to kind of fill in the tide there. Fill in the in between just because I opened this and I haven't had a Mountain House and it just didn't look very good. It looks like the beat, the Walmart version of a little bit better, better meal. Ugh. Getting a little worried that my dog's gonna knock over my only beer that I brought up. It's a Stone to go IPA, only 4.8%. So not really getting hammered up here. Didn't bring any hard alcohol or uh, take any shots before I go. Good to see Scully's over there eating a couple pieces of crunch before she goes to bed. I'm getting pretty tired and uh, really need to get, get to bed right as soon as possible and this trip was kind of inspired spur of the moment. Just wanted to get on the road and 
start thinning my pack because I know every time that I do this, I'm going to thin the pack out quite a bit and I'm going to be lighter and lighter and lighter and by the time I get a real bike packing bike, I'll uh, be uh, a little bit, little bit further on with the journey and uh, anyway, yeah, uh, only other change to the bike today is I just put the hookworms on the Kona stuff that I'm riding. It's my bike pack. I'll try to illuminate it back there as best I can, but anyway, you know what it looks like. See ya. Um, this tired boy's going to bed. Okay, good morning. Uh, didn't get to bed till probably 3, 4... 3.30 a.m. Um, so pretty tired. Not sure exactly how late it is in the morning. It's probably closing in on 10 or 11. And I'm not really totally rested. I'm going to look around for water that I can... Uh, that I can boil and get some more water because I really only brought one beer, one orange juice, one coconut water, and uh, 40 ounces of hot water. My plan was I was going to bring probably another 40 ounces of just fresh water. At this point, I think I'm going to go boil up some muddy puddle water into uh, my 40 ounce water bottle and then my little uh, bottle that I brought. Just to make sure that I have water because I've been having a headache since I went to sleep. I don't know that it's mo mostly uh, dehydration as much as it is um, just not having not been on the bike and my head's shaking around and my brain is joggling around and so it's just not used to the vibration. And, also, I'm not used to the alcohol. I haven't had the, I haven't had beer in a couple weeks, and um, it's really like giving me instant hangovers when I drink, and just a lot of undesirable effects. So, anyway, I'll do a little sweep through the camp. My ends were getting a little wet, but as you see, I use a bivy sack, and so I can get real wet on my toes and not really matter. Well, his coat's gotten pretty wet. I put a bunch of extra reflective tape that uh, looks kind of scrappy during the daytime, but it really shined her up in the middle of the night. Here's a quick look at the bike. I'm using it as a structural uh, part of the tent. Rain fly set up. Just a little extra emergency blanket. I've heard some awesome stories about how this just really saved someone's life. And so I'm probably just always going to have an emergency blanket with me from now on. And just as an extra little lightweight tarp ground cover. And yet again, I got my giant bag of goodies that I'm going to have to wear down with. No... Uh, hip strap, which is the worst part. Okay, see ya. Everything's been cool so far. Well, the purpose of this trip is to thin out some gear, and I've got quite a bit of gear with me. I've got um, things that can be used as multiple items. Um, biggest things I forgot today were enough water. Um, I'm going to have a filter on my next trip, and I won't have to worry about bringing as much water. I'll filter puddle water or whatever I have to. Um, today, I boiled up a little bit of puddle water and uh, made my oats, and uh, here they are. Right there, still cooking. I put about four packets of the instant uh, Babylon flavored uh, Quaker oats. Um, but just looking at my piles of stuff, I think I could thin out 
quite a bit of, uh, of gear here. So, next time I will have quite a bit of less of stuff. Um, I'm going to try to dry this stuff out as quick as possible as if I'm going to go back out tonight. Okay, bye. Here's my bag. It's bumping. Okay, Scully's tired. She had a really long day and didn't even really want to go out last night at midnight and was just kind of waiting at the door ready to go back inside. So, running her another eight miles and then being all crazed, running around, stuff in the woods. She uh, really got her workout. So, uh, this is a great first experience. I think Scully can run a lot harder than I give her credit for. I need to remember to bring more water. Um, utensils would have been a luxury item that would have been nice. I'm about to eat my uh, oatmeal, four packets, way too much, four packets. I just looked like I had a lot of water and that was all the packets I had. I kind of accidentally grabbed an extra one just in case kind of thing. Figured I could eat it dry. Watched a lot of bike packing videos where people are just making some super ghetto foods. They're making pouch foods in vacuum sealers and they're basically making their own homemade MREs. And uh, one of the guys doesn't care if it's hot or not even. So, I mean, maybe I'm uh, on the fence between uh, making my own little MREs and uh, not always being so picky if they're hot or not just because of the effort of making a fire, the extra effort of making a fire when it's such wet, damp conditions. And um, anyway, uh, I was thinking a lot about my little pocket rocket MSR uh, the fuel stove and that would have been just really simple fast and more along the lines of breaking it out mid-ride at any moment and get and grabbing a few calories with a uh, hot soup um, a little bit cold a little bit congested I'm feeling really optimistic about riding down and getting out of here um, heading to a uh, backcountry essentials to grab a water purifier and that's gonna be my next uh, part of this uh, uh, added added and revised trip so as of right now I thought I wouldn't like my little speaker with a subwoofer but it seems to be knocking pretty hard um, I'd be playing it the whole time during these little video logs other than it being distracting and uh, I can't put ads on my um, video someone else gets to put ads on my video if I have the music playing at that point so at the point Scully knock it off she's digging where she shouldn't be digging uh, at the points where I have music playing in the backgrounds of my video and I just say I don't care I'm gonna end up having ads on those videos by the people that own the rights to the song and that's kind of annoying so anyway I'm gonna probably grab a couple little snapshots to kind of cruise them down with all the gear and uh, getting ready for a real bike packing trip on real bike packing bike <laughs> okay see you guys later There's my Crazy Creek Hex 2.0 chair that I have folded up. Um, my idea was to get a little bit of clothing and other things in there, but really the only thing in there is the speaker. Um, I got a tube on here and I've got my Corona 1 inch plus bypass shears for cutting up fuel for the little wood stove. Um, just off the top, we've got pretty loaded bag. This thing's actually gonna, I'm kind of looking forward to carrying this now that it has all the water out of there, all the food has been consumed. Um, toilet paper depleted. Uh, this tube is out of there, yay. <laughs> well, anyway, kind of rambling on, but uh, that's what you guys like and keep coming back for. Okay, peace. Okay, I'm heading out. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, got some pink rock star planned since uh, I'm not going to get ads uh, on this video if I include this little taking off segment. Okay, I was just being to take a picture, but I guess I'm taking a little video. Here's the setup. Checkpoint golf on the, the forbidden zone. Okay, peace. Another day in the grind. The man, the man, the man, the man, the man,
and die and die of feeling strain Another day in the grind Working for the man Till night come again I am die and die see the day Another day in the grind Working for the man Till night come again becomes an issue uh, with copywriting and ads and getting my money for uh, promos if that ever happens. Anyway, um, here's my bike. I'm about to hit Galbraith uh, Trail SST. I love this little gorilla because I just feel like that looks like a surfboard that he's coming out of. Take you up there and then uh, one, one last look at Scully and the bike. And we're good and this trail is adopted by fanatic bike company so this better be super cool or i'm not coming into fanatic bike to get my spoke that i need just kidding not that you even want my business for a spoke that's gonna 
cost you more technical information than it is the actual part. Thanks. Anyway, uh, there's the bike. I just aired down the hookworms a little bit. I noticed I had a slow leak on the front tire. Probably my overzealousness of pumping them up to 60. Um, they're all old tubes, so I'm just going to replace that tube uh, tonight when I get home. And it just kind of inspired me to air down my back because otherwise I was going to go down this single track on slicks. Made for free rides. They're pretty tacky. I've ridden them for a long time. Uh, but I was going to ride them at like 60 PSI, which is like way too much. So what was I thinking? Whoa! Um, anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace. <laughs> with the fully inflated front tire or deflated handlebar bags a little bit splashy but it's pretty stiff it's staying up there the stuff drops out that's okay you can pick it up I'll see it fall out here I come on the first segment Sounds like Scully met a friend, having some fun. This little bungee cord was touching on my leg, so if that ever happens, I'm just going to take it off. Let's wait for Scully to catch up and be back on our way. Here comes. Here's Scully. Looks good. Might take her coat off. Just uh, looks like she's really probably going to be pretty hot and wiggling it around. So she might be a little more visible to other riders too. I'm just going to throw that in my pack and then take off right off the bat so you guys can hear. Little taste of Hank 3. Because you, you like to watch me, but you're probably not going to listen to any Hank 3 on your own. So, uh, I've got to inject that into your culture. Listen to a lot of reggae. Listen to a lot of Hank Williams III. I don't know what that makes me. I called myself Ross the Mormon before. It's pretty crazy. Contradictory. Contradicting religion. Come on, Scully! Let's go! I like to hit all the jumps even if I'm just rolling them. Because I know a lot of them have good, nice little rollers. Try to air this one. Yeah. Let's go! Keep yelling for my dog. Let her know where I am. This music kind of throws her off, I think, in the direction I am. But... It's okay. Taking this trail really slow with this handlebar bag, but I think I'm going to just unleash. inspirations in making these videos has been um, there's really not too many of them out there so when I get home from work I'm stuck inside the Babylon cage they call an apartment or a house there's little more I want to do than escape out back out into the woods on my bike or camping need to make content for other people like me and actually just myself later on in life 
and I'm not able to do this stuff. Whoa! Slicks just slide right out. Let's go, Scully! Just kind of sharing this in real time. This is what Scully does. She chases, and she runs, and she plays, and here she comes. I'm pretty confident I can't really lose her if she's chasing me. Unless I take a couple wrong turns or something, she knows the path. There we go. Just really feels like what the what the bike's meant for, you know. Getting getting in and out of places. This little rogue trail that creates a little drop. Quite a fun. Wish I had some water. Wish I had some coconut water. Wish I had some orange juice. Wish I had some beer. I'm out of fluids. I need to get back to get some fluids. Oh boy. I'm hoping that volume is okay on these little in between transition clips. <sighs> wow. Can't believe I don't have any water. That seems crazy. <sighs> Thought I heard somebody before. I was going to ask somebody for water if I saw somebody. I don't know. Got some beef jerky. That's not going to help me. Might just go take a little drink out of the creek right off the top where it's the moving water. Really don't do that, but it's so wet out right now, I think the water might be pretty clean. I'm getting kind of dizzy. I think I'm overheating. Okay, we're fogging up a bit, but you can probably still hear my voice. Hope you, hope you get along. I was going to hike up to the upper upper section and do the drop, so I'm just going to stick to it. I think I've got these thermal underwear on I don't normally wear that I wore to bed. And I should take those off. I might just take off my coat and ride down kind of quicker, just trying to get there the bottom and get to the store and grab, grab a bottle of water. I think I might just trick off my thermal underwear here. Should be nice to take off my boots even for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the cut the video and replay it here when I get into the trail. Alright. Okay, so I ended up uh, getting, changing my pants, getting out of my thermal underwear, like really overheated and feeling way better right now. Um, just ended up kind of taking everything out, got my socks and boots off, or not my socks, but just my boots, and uh, my pants completely off to get the thermal underwear off and uh, rechange into that. So, big lessons just to be learned on where this everything is when I'm pulling stuff out halfway on the trail. Um, kind of conscious, you know, that somebody might come up and be like, oh my god, are you okay with the emergency blanket out? And, uh, you know, think I'm in distress or something. So, all kinds of, uh, you know, it'd be easier to just have the pants or the couple items I might need on the trail right at the top and I don't have to break everything down. So, uh, great lessons to be learned right there. If I just learned one thing, packing a little bit better is, is the world of difference. And, I already know I needed real mountain biking or mountain uh, backpack. The ones I have are really old and 
probably too small and uh, for all the stuff I want and for my body. So I need to get one fitted up to myself. Um, take it easy. Peace. Another little update, just kind of, um, you know, I didn't want to get caught naked on the trail, be that guy that and everybody remembers, oh my God, I was on Galbraith halfway through and on section two of three, there was a guy just naked on a space blanket. Like, oh my God, I don't want to be that guy. Um, I'm already known as the guy that's the chicken killer because I killed and uh, processed my first chicken and uh, I'm almost 90% done with this, the, uh, stew that I had made out of it. So uh, it was a rooster, it was about a year old, and I killed it humanely, cleaned it as an ed educational thing, and came away with the belief that everyone should be, um, uh, learn how to cook and kill and clean a chicken by probably eight years old. And I think it'd be a lifetime of difference. And even just knowing the quality of the meat. I mean, the, just a few bites of this meat like really was filling and satiating. It tastes like a kind of a gamey turkey. Um, supposedly some people don't eat turk, uh, chickens after three months or so if they're killing them uh, for food. Um, but this one was about a year old and it was gonna get uh, fed to someone else if, uh, if I didn't take it. So I felt very blessed that I was in a situation that um, I could do that and uh, it was really cool. I'll throw some pictures on the of this dude or something. If, uh, I, I can give, that up. I gave my heart, my soul, and I want to go. My soul to rock on a heart. That was a good realization of my bike packing trip today. Um, and I'm able to hit it a lot harder on the trail than I thought I would. So I'm going to be packing better on the handlebars. I think I'm uh, sold on the Orly waterproof uh, twin sided uh, handle, handlebar bag that um, I'll probably move from bike to bike as well. Uh, it looks like it's a really great and you know, a great review on it too. Everything Orly makes is uh, waterproof. I've seen it around uh, Washington County and uh, Northwest for a long time. Yeah. So, anyway. so, getting a couple drops of water on the housing of the camera itself. I need a new freaking camera. This is a Hero 2. It's a big box. Compared to the new one. And I don't even have the water through housing on it. So I can attempt to cheat. If I need my gloves and then I am pedaling out. The soap. They were on the ground for just a second and sucked up all the water on that one. This one doesn't feel as heavy. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, that I'm trying to make a little bit of uh, 
the movie here. Overtaking the town. I often unjokingly say, Welcome to Bellingham, watch for needles. Not even joking. Pretty bad. It's not that bad. It's not, it's not as bad as everywhere else, but it's getting pretty bad. Let's go! Yelling for the dog. A little less rigid, I like the old pressure I should have done this years ago. I, I crave the speed and so I will ride very high pressure, about 50 on the trail. Because I want to be able to hit dirt jump when I come across the dirt jump. Uh, flipped off the pedal there, that was scary. This thing gets a bit heavier. This is where I wait for Scully usually. There's a nice puddle or two she can get a drink out of. Okay, where's Scully? Scully! Check for uh, moisture. Yeah, we got pretty bad moisture. How's that over? Let that air out. Get a nice clear shot of where we are on SST. Making our way down. Need some water. We ran out of water. That's all I can think of. I don't need you. So I keep giving Scully any chance I, I see water you. like that. She can get a big drink. Get a big drink she's, she's been getting some good clear uh, clear water. So anyway, back on the trail. Common theme, trains and rambling, whiskey, weed, and women. That's Hank 3's life, man. I want to go see that son of a bitch. Visit him. I guess we're not going to be a family channel. I'm just going to put explicit right on there because I got Hank 3 and talking about whores and thieves. Hell. Wow, I love these tires. I have not ridden them aired down like this. I've got a flat in the front, but... Yeah, there, that was a flat. Taste it bad. Road away, that's my style. Okay, I'm gonna check for the dog. Get too far ahead of myself. Let's go, little guy. Little gal. Let's go, Scully. Come on. Here she comes, barking and a blazing. Barks a blazing. Let's go. You're on the vlog now. This is more of a big deal, buddy. Oh, you got your poor leg you're carrying. You don't look cold and shivering anymore, though, so let's go. Hey, this way. This runs right off track onto a scent. We've been uh, out on farms hunting rats, and uh, she got into a possum nest the other day. I've just been on the hunting, hunting spree. I'm more of a, susi a subsistence kind of guy if it comes to killing and resilience and homesteading and cooking to eat. I'm not a, not a bloodthirsty killer, but boy, it uh, it's part of the, part of it, one small part. Yeah, here's an explicit song for you. I gotta change my channel to explicit. And I ain't changing my
my music, I talk about what I want to. If you can't hear me, I don't really care. But I'm gonna work on work on production a little bit. the way they are so um, anyway I think I'm changing my name uh, to recreation TV because there's so many rec TVs out there and it's just kind of like their logo is the recording button um, and it's not really recreation wise so I'm just gonna put recreation TV I think it's my new uh, TV name even though it's uh, my, may continue using the rec TV just kind of as a branding thing so uh, uh, continuation continuation of that hey peace out guys I'm gonna stop and restart the video on the trail. Here's where I am. So you really know that I'm stopping and restarting on the trail. Like two nice drinks, a fifth in one shot without taking it out of uh, frame. <laughs> That's kind of dirty. All right, back again. We are uh, listening to some Hank Williams III, and uh, we got Scully and some new hookworms. Got the bike packing. Got a ridiculous. And I'm uh, kind of testing everything out. Uh, see if it's gonna shake off or do anything weird. Here we go. SST last section. my dog. He doesn't love her. They hate her. Here we go. I can hear she's right behind me, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh man, this is a little more difficult getting around those things because of my really low leaky tire in the front. Go where I want him. <laughs> 
Stand at least he did the time 